Why is it that many ill-informed conspiracy theorists and space theorists, not genuine scientists of course, but people with an interest, try to say that there will be an impact to the Earth by an asteroid or comet or whatever? You have many people talking about the planet Nibiru or the star Nibiru. The theories vary, as I've mentioned in the previous video. Many of these theories are based around 2012 and 2013 and with some a little bit later. These people tend to show a considerable lack of knowledge and the inability to actually process knowledge or facts in a sufficient way. However, I'm going to go over a number of these different objects and explain why they will not hit the Earth. The asteroid 99942 Apophis, which many people thought could strike the Earth, but even the experts only said there was up to a 2.7% chance that it would actually strike the Earth in 2029. And the additional observations an analysis of those observations provided the proof that it would not actually strike. The odds were so tiny without external influence to redirect it that there would be no reason why it would strike the Earth or the Moon. Although there was a possibility that it could pass through a gravitational keyhole which could cause it to strike either the Earth or the Moon in the future. If it passes through a very small area of space, no more than half a mile, it could actually hit the Earth in 2036. However, even this idea has become so, well, <laughs> unlikely upon further research, further observations, further calculations, as to make it nigh upon the impossible. In fact, the probability of this is considered to be something to the tune of 1 in 250,000. This means the odds of Apophis actually hitting the Earth are really just so small as to make it a minor concern. Now, although it is important we recognise it could hit the Earth in the future, it's also important we recognise that the possibility of it hitting the Earth, or even coming close enough to the Earth to become, in some way, a problem, very minor, very small, as with most objects which we are aware of. Apophis, when first discovered, was placed at level 1 a normal object, nothing of any great merit. Due to the minor possibility of a future impact which may or may not happen, tiny possibility, it's been moved to level 4. Due to the recalculation of how close it's going to come to the Earth, the possibility of the impact which may possibly happen, it's been brought back down to a level 2. It will be close, but it is predictable its orbit, where it's going to be, how close it's going to come. The odds are it will not strike the Earth. On the scale, level 2 to 4 are meriting attention by astronomers, but we don't actually find anything which is truly threatening until we reach level 5, 6 and 7. And by the time you manage to get it to 8, 9 and 10, you're talking about extremely rare occurrences. The fear-mongering over Comet Elenon was truly ridiculous. So many conspiracy-absorbed individuals trying to sell their own perspective that it's a hoax or it's something really dangerous it's Planet X or Nibiru or something 
it was truly insane. The amount of ignorance, the amount of pathetic ideas with no solid fact. That's the real issue. No fact. No proof. No truth. Simply fear-mongering at its worst. The Comet Elenin was discovered by Russian amateur astronomer Leonard Elenin on December 10th, 2010. And since that time, many conspiracy theorists have had an opinion about what it really is, even suggesting the name Elenin is in fact made up and has a hidden meaning, and the astronomer who discovered the comet really doesn't exist. Because they couldn't find any academic credentials to this man, they assumed he was a ghost character, someone made up for the sake of trying to say it was discovered by someone, when in fact Leonard Elenin is an amateur. He won't have huge papers written about it on different parts of the internet. He won't have all these credentials to major universities. So they failed epically through their ignorance of common fact upon this amateur astronomer who discovered the comet itself. They tried to take the word and divide it into two parts. The first part saying extinction level event. E L E. For the second part of the word, the N I N, they said notable impact nemesis. So the idea was it was going to be an extinction level event with the notable impact of nemesis. Nemesis being, of course, a theoretical dark or brown star depending upon the theories perpetuated. The problem with this stupid theory is there is no proof. Plus, if you believe that, then how come it's named after Mr. Elenin from Russia, an amateur astronomer? They tried to claim it was a United Nations warning giving it its name or something to that effect, but there was no proof of any kind. They kept on saying how uncanny it was, how, how TV shows, how announcements about it were talking about all these different things, how certain even sci-fi shows talked about an event. It was really pathetic. And we had this going on throughout, pretty much from beginning to, until now, until the uploading of this video, of people saying it was basically going to cause devastation, destruction, perhaps even obliteration of humanity and or the planet. Really pathetic stuff. Throughout 2011, there was a huge amount of fear mongering based around conspiracy theories that NASA knew the truth, that governments are building secret bunkers to hide their Freemasonic secret societies, that the aliens were directing comets to come and hit us, that it was really a star and not a comet, that it was really a planet and not a comet, and so on and so forth. But these conspiracy theorists and the Buru theorists never had a shred of proof. The theorists who claimed that they had proof were selecting facts carefully, showing a huge amount of intellectual dishonesty it was rampant over this whole topic. Ridiculous ideas perpetuated in the name of freedom from the Illuminati or something equally as ridiculous. It truly was a pathetic display of people claiming to be scientifically factual. One of the many failed 
supposed doom days was the 8th of November 2011. People claim that this object, asteroid 2005 YU55, when this came about, as with many other instances, like with Elenin and many other objects discovered, Apophis and several others in recent history, people have said it must be coming to hit us. You know, it can't be that close and not hit us, and they show these animations from a long distance away and they don't calculate for the distances between us and the object or how close it'll actually get the actual size of the object this object YU55 it was only 400 yards wide yes it was big or big enough to do a lot of damage but it was so far away over 200,000 miles that it really wasn't going to affect us at all and yet you still had many people out there claiming it could do great harm thankfully it didn't thankfully the conspiracy theorists were incorrect the object came close to the earth but it went by we're still here. It didn't strike the Earth. All is well. And yet you've still got people out there willing to state their name, their reputation on one of these objects hitting us. Just to go briefly over the moon, the ideas of the moon, the fact that people say the orbit of the moon may affect the way in which earthquakes and other disasters take place. Perhaps the moon is the bringer of doom. Maybe, maybe not. As I see it, where there's no proof, there's no reason to believe. Oh yes, and uh, the moon landing conspiracy. They can prove mankind has been to the moon. They've reflected lasers off these reflectors they left on the moon. So they can accurately judge the distance between the earth and the moon. That's proof we've been to the moon. Also, some people seem to claim that the moon is somehow a inhabited planet and there might even be aliens living on or under the surface of the moon. No proof or evidence. So I don't open myself up to bizarre conspiracy theories for the sake of it. They serve no good purpose and are simply ideas projected by the ill-informed ignorant and people who believe in conspiracy theories believe what you will but in the end something will hit us but there's no reason to assume it's going to happen today tomorrow in 2012 2013 or whenever there is no reason to assume a major doomsday event or a doomsday event of any kind is going to come about anytime soon 